Oh, I didn't make it quick enough and she just fell asleep on the floor. We have no food and we've got dishes all over the place. This is a familiar story even in the 1300s. We can't seem to take care of our dishes. Hello, all you fabulous and wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back for some more of the ultimate decades challenge. It is currently Tuesday morning early. James is up. He's getting himself together and he's going to go take care of the animals. He's feeling a little sad because he got rid of the llama yesterday. Oh, and just like that, he's confident. And this one is sad because she just had a potty accident just now and she's very hungry and she needs to have a bath. Well, Isabel is about to get up here and get some breakfast being made. The last time I had trouble with the butter and I couldn't get, I couldn't get this butter to work. One of you guys pointed out that you need to make it and take a serving and it turns it into butter. So I will definitely have her do that. Thank you so much for letting me know that. I, that I would have never, figured that out. I don't think we have any in here because I think I did try to make some. Oh, I do have some. I have three. So I will have her turn this all into butter so we can actually make some decent meals here. Also, I wanted to point out you guys that it is the like second part of 1309. So I knew we have the great famine coming up in 1315, I believe, but I have gone ahead and marked it on this calendar so I won't forget. I've marked it, it's all the way down here. This is gonna be here before we know it. This is our first event that we're going to be experiencing, which I am terrified about it because at some point in it, we have to do death rolls. I think it's towards the end or something. It starts here and it ends here. When it gets to this point, we'll obviously go over the rules, but I know you have to do death rolls for all of your sims, including your side families. So that's a little scary. Okay, Isabel, you gotta get up. I know you be tired, but you gotta get up and get yourself together and um, get some breakfast made here. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and have her grab a serving. Is it grab a serving or pick up a serving? I wonder if it's a pick up a serving. I can't remember offhand now. We'll try and see what happens. Oh, and now she be hangry. Oh, she is hungry. I'm gonna actually give her some something oh she's got something to eat we'll have her go ahead and eat this banana i think we have some more fruit in here she can eat some more of these bananas here did she grab a serving wait a minute what did she she did homemade butter okay so i'm just gonna have her come over here the homemade ingredients yes now we can make bread thank you for letting me know about this so i'm gonna have her turn this all into butter there we've turned it all into butter so now we've got lots to make some bread let's see how james is doing he's just over here with the animals taking care of them so we'll have him go ahead and clean and feed and socialize with this one llama and the new llama and feed this cow and clean the cow and socialize. Oh, and she's so sad. She's crying because she had a potty accident. Oh, we still have scotched eggs out here sitting. Well, they don't spoil. These do not spoil apparently. I didn't realize that. And she just put that bread. She just put that bread up here. And let's have her say, you'll be okay. I love the animations. You just gotta love the glitches. I'm telling you what, or else they'll drive you crazy. Okay, well, we're gonna go ahead and give her a bath because she she does need it. Yeah, Edith does need a bath. So we'll give a bath to Edith. And then Cecilia, when she wakes up, she she's gonna have to come down and get some... Uh, Food. We also are going to have to potty train and give her a bath, I see. Last time we did plant this garden, so we've got lots of stuff here we have to tend to as well. But I'm going to have him finish finish up with the animals here, cleaning this up. So then I'll have him come over here. We do have this and the bees, they are calm. I'm going to have him attempt <laughs> to... um bond with the bees and see what happens. These are miserable. They're famished. We got to nurture them, I think, and feed them. She crossed out giving a bath to her. I'm gonna have her grab a serving of these scotched eggs. 
really quick because she is very, very hungry. And then she can give Edith a bath. I also am going to send James out to hunt here in just a little bit when he gets all of these chores done. I know you want a bath. I know, but we have to go get our other daughter. We have to go get your sister, Cecilia. She's too little to come down the stairs by herself. She needs some help. Oh, look at how they carry it down. <laughs> look <laughs> Oh, the carrying animation in this is so broken. Okay, now little Cecilia, come grab yourself some food. And I see the male person is here. Give little Edith a bath, dang it. No, what are you doing? Where are you going? No, give her a bath. Give her a bath, yo. I think I might have a problem now with my bathtub. I'm gonna tell you what, every single episode I record, whether it's in this gameplay or the werewolves gameplay, there's always something is glitched out. Always. Let's see what we can make for lunch here. I think we're just gonna have some cheese. You know what, cheese, meat, and bread is what she's gonna make for lunch. And James, then you can come back over here and tend to this garden here. Oh, we got an animation ear. I guess. Oh, that's always fun. So it's with this rocking horse. I'll have to update this. Uh, there's an animation error with this uh, rocking horse. When she got on it, it set it off. And then when she got off of it, it set it off. So I'll just have to update that. I've gotten the better exception. This is so helpful. If you play with mods and CC, get the better exception by Twisted Maxi. It is so helpful. It will let, you can then scan for errors it, and it'll point you right towards what is wrong. It is so helpful. I highly recommend that. So I think I'm getting a potty animation um, with little Cecilia because she's up here and I just got it. I'm not surprised. You know, it is the CC. It's probably all going to be needing to get fixed. So I guess I know what I'm doing later today. James can come down here and grab a, a serving of that. And then I think I'm going to have Isabel do some laundry. And I'm going to have, oh, she's hungry. Did she not get it? anything to eat and he would like to try for a baby with Isabel so I've gone ahead and pinned that down because we will we haven't done that yet for Tuesday we'll have to do that later because he's gonna need to come in and get something to eat before he goes out hunting he's gonna have a late hunting day today once Isabel gets this clothes all done the laundry all done I'm gonna have her teach the girl some things so I'll have her teach Cecilia first since she hasn't worked with her yet because Cecilia just aged up into a toddler. So these are actually clean and soaked. So I'm going to have her go ahead and stop now. And I'm not even going to go for <laughs> Christine. We're just going to hang them on the line before it gets any worse. And then she is going to, she's going to teach her to say please and thank you. Oh, and this one is angry. Why are we angry? Don't toy with me. Gah, too much to toy time leads to tantrum time. Oh no. I'm going to have her take a little nap, I think. It is in the afternoon. What a good mother teaching her daughter all the things about life and all the lessons. I'm going to have him go. I know it's a little bit later in the day than I really, they would probably go hunting, but I'm going to just have him go hunting. Hopefully he has good luck. Let's have her work a little bit more with teach to say sorry. We also have this big happy family aspiration. So we need to read to a child and we also have to socialize with her so I'm also gonna have her just spend some time being you know hugging and socializing with her little girl here she is exhausted this toddler is near passing out it's time to get her under some covers oh she is very tired okay we won't do all of this stuff then instead you can just have a nap right here and you my friend can come over here and clean that. Oh no, where are you going? Listen, she's going to go pass out. Instead, I didn't make it quick enough. Oh, I didn't make it quick enough. And she just fell asleep on the floor. Well, I haven't seen that for a minute. And she's going upstairs to watch her sister pass out. And Isabel is just going off to sweep the floors and do some house cleaning. Okay, now she's going to bed. And little Edith is very hungry, so she's getting her dinner. It's time for your dinner of some meat and cheese and bread. And I'm just having Isabel make some salted meat. We're just going to turn these ingredients into stuff here and make some more bread. Oh, and he is back. Oh, no. Did he get hurt? Oh, aches and pains. Chasing down that game has made James' body ache. Ouch, ouch. Probably should have some rest. Oh, and he's tired. Okay, so that's all he got from it. 
Let's see what he got from his hunting trip. We got a pigeon and a small rabbit and a chicken. Very nice, very nice. I am gonna have him just put this in here. I'm gonna see, sometimes the dishes you need to have it whole. Sometimes it's just cut meat. I'm just gonna, just to be safe, we'll put it up there. He has gone off to use the bathroom. I'm gonna have him, oh, he's tired, so he's going to sleep. He's like, I need rest. He's walking around like he's so sore. I love that, that is hilarious. It is eight. I'm gonna have her put Edith to bed, and then she's gonna have to give little Cecilia a bath. Let's have you read your child to sleep. Oh, and she's yawning herself. She's just giving her daughter a nice story, story time. Time to read you to sleep and have pleasant dreams. Give little Cecilia a bath really quick. I know you're running on fumes here. You were like so tired, but we really need to give her a bath. She's gonna have to put herself to bed and you're gonna have to go to sleep. Oh, we didn't even get a chance to try for a baby. Dang it, and it's already the next day. Oh, well. This is technically the next day, so I'll just count it. They didn't get a chance to woohoo. Tuesday, but that's fine. Uh, it's whatever. We'll just try. It was just a busy full day and he has woke up playful Apparently, he's just getting himself to something to eat and to get himself around These are used and dry. They were clean and soaked I should have probably let her wash them until they're a little bit cleaner. I guess uh, that was probably my bad I stopped her from washing them a little too soon. I think I'm also gonna have him once he gets done with the um, chores I'm gonna have him do some of these mid medieval activities. I'm gonna have him do something. It's Wednesday um, We're gonna need to attend uh, to this garden here Saturday is the last day of the season I think we'll harvest those plants maybe here. We got some dead plants. I think Oh, uh, no, we do. We have a bunch of dead. I think it's our sugar cane and wheat has gone bad. And she has woke up confident. She's going to get the clothes that are not very good, but I'm going to let her and then she can get herself together and she can get some breakfast. And here comes little Edith is the first to get up. She's coming down to watch her dad. Actually, you probably should eat some of this. And my plants have just disappeared here. The sage is in season, yet it just disappeared. All of it just disappeared. <laughs> Okie doke. This little girl is throwing animation errors all over the place. I don't know what she's doing, but she's doing something. My toddler's be all glitched out. Oh no, I think it was from him. I think I was getting the animation errors from these plants. So I'm definitely gonna have to do a big major update of my CC. Oh my gosh, my game just got real, real laggy. Okay, so it got so bad with the leg and between the leg and the last exceptions, um, I went ahead and took care of my little problem. So we'll see if it is fixed or not. It turns out I had a bunch of duplicates of CC. CC and mods that had gotten duplicated and apparently that was causing some problems. I think it's fixed. We'll have to see. Okay, and look, our plants are back. Our plants are back. Oh, but they just, they just reappeared. Amazing. Isn't that amazing? We're not done in here, so you're gonna have to continue spraying and everything. I guess we don't need to water um anything. I was gonna have him go do some medieval stuff. Let's see, but I... I think he's rather hungry. We have no food and we've got dishes all over the place. This is a familiar story. Even in the 1300s, we can't seem to take care of our dishes. Actually, I want him to see on his phone. We're gonna look at these medieval interaction thingies. This, this medieval activities. Maybe we can plan something for tomorrow because it is 4.30. Okay, so let's see. He can go to wood to the woods to gather logs to use for in your fireplace. He can go to the market. We can participate in the joust tournament. We can go to the liturgy. We can attend a royal banquet. But I have to do that. We can also go to the tavern. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll have him do that. After hard work on the, fi on, on the field, a well-deserved rest is needed. Visit the tavern to meet with others to socialize and talk. Okay, you know, I think he might do this. He has, the last couple of days, this man has taken care of the animals. He's taken care of the garden. I think I'm gonna have him just go to the tavern just for a little rest and relaxation. 
And we'll say he and Thomas and Peter have all gone to the tavern. And then I'm gonna have, I know she's potty training her when she gets her done. I'm gonna, she's gonna have to come down here and make some supper for everybody. We're still missing a lot of things for the um, actual meals, but we can make a, quite a bit of pantry foods. We can make, um, well, no, we can't. We, we still, we need bread. We can make, let's see about soups. Oh, wow, we don't have anything here either. Oh, uh, I think she's gonna have to be making some breads. Okay, we can make some pie. Let's make a chicken pie. All right, let's try that. We can make a chicken pie. Oh, a meat and potato. A meat and tomato tart. You know what? This takes eggs, and we have a lot of eggs. I, uh, we'll use up our eggs. Let's make some meat and tomato tart. So I haven't gotten any last exceptions anymore, so that is good. And this girl is just running around. This is her running around. Yep, she's running around very quickly here. Oh my goodness. She's adorable, though. I'm gonna actually have her come up here. She can come up here and play with her sister while mom is making dinner. We'll have her come over here and they can talk a little bit and they can talk about their favorite toys and animals. Their only toy is, they only have one toy. Oh, that is so cute. Right in front of the smelly toilet. Meanwhile, Isabel is in the kitchen cooking up a storm. Oh, and she's sad. She needs amusement. She could really use something fun to do. Can you play with this here? I guess she would rather play with a toy instead of talking with her sister. And James has come back. He has come back and it looks like he had a smooth drink. It's relaxing to visit the tavern after a long working day. A drink or two can always put you in the mood. So it gave him inspiration for four hours. Maybe I should be, he wants to warm himself. Um, maybe I should have him do a painting. We do. We only have 568 simoleons. I haven't had him paint for a long while. We'll just do a classic, large classic painting. We've got dinner. Let's have um, everybody come to the meal. Quit playing. It's time for dinner. So that is what's for dinner. Tomato pie. Meat and tomato pie. She came over to sit by her dad to eat. And then he gets up and does a painting. He has finished a masterpiece. He thinks he's going off to bed. You're going to come sell that for 2,405 simoleons. You're not going to bed. And plus, you got to try for a baby yet with Isabel. But Isabel is putting the girls to bed. Oh, they've already gone to bed. Let's sell it. We're going to have them try for a baby, but we're going to have him sell this first. Yes, sell that. Let's have you guys try for a baby. And what are you up for? She just woke up. Cecilia just woke up in the middle of her sleep just to go make a mess. Like this little girl is a little troublemaker. She just woke up out of a sound sleep just to go make a mess. You already got a mess that toilet. You don't need to make no mess. Go back to bed. And she woke up again sad. This little girl, she, oh, she had a nightmare. Oh, she had a nightmare and she's about to go wake up her mom. It is 2.30 in the morning. Oh, mommy, I had a dream, a bad dream. Isabel is going to have to get up and um, you'll be okay. And give her uh, a hug, maybe. It's going to be okay. Oh, she's pushing away. <gasps> Why? Why are you pushing her away? Let's see if she can put her to bed now. Read to sleep. Give her a little story at 3.30 in the morning. And she's just going to tell her a nice happy story so that she has nice dreams. No more nightmares, little girl. I mean, she is hungry. I'm gonna have her just come down here and grab a piece of this and then go back to bed. And this one woke up in the middle of the night to go potty, aww. Oh, and Llama is unhappy. Well, guess what, James? You get to go take care of that Llama right now. Well, you'll get something to eat first and then you can go take care of this Llama before he... Oh, this llama does need some help. Let's clean this llama and feed this llama. You gotta socialize. Ask if llama corns are real. Oh, and your brown cow. I don't think he took care of them yesterday. I think we did not. I think we got distracted about doing the medieval activities. Oh, and wet hen. Oh, all my animals are thinking of leaving. Oh, this is a really dirty coop. You know what? I'm gonna have Isabel come clean the chicken coop, Um, actually. She's gonna get up here and take care of herself a little bit. And then she's going to help James out with the animals. She's going to clean the coop. She's going to scatter the feed. And she can collect the eggs. Now they're happy. Yay. And this probably has to get tended to. And refill and clean. Oh, and Cecilia is very hungry. 
She's going to get herself some of that meat pie. And while they're out here cleaning, I'm just gonna have them do a little woohoo for the day. And she got three hatchable, hatchable eggs. Oh, wow, okay. So we can go ahead and uh, hatch those. They are normal. Incubate in the cube, incubate in the cube incubate so we're gonna have all three of those no the cow interrupted them dang it oh and it's empty she's gonna have to make some more food so oh they're making a mess in here i do see i'm gonna have her come over here and make some more bread and uh james is gonna have to go tend to himself oh my goodness he is i guess we'll just go ahead and make some more of that cheese and meat we don't really have any options to make anything else we're oh, we're missing the vegetables we don't have we don't have enough vegetables. And Isabel, you're gonna have to give little Cecilia a bath when she's done eating. Oh, and she's crying up here because of the thunderstorms. I'm gonna have James come up here and just, yeah, you know, kind of comfort her a little bit. I do still have that bug of uh, giving them a bath. I have to actually click on them. OMG, my mind has just exploded from a blast of imagination. And a great conversation always peps up the spirits. And Thomas has come over and she's finally, she's finally gonna bathe his child. I realize it's in the rain. I know you don't want to go over there, but you, you really need to. Finally, she's giving that little girl a bath. I think part of the problem was she was getting distracted by everybody. So I sent James off to paint and her on a rocky horse, and then she could suddenly give her the bath. So I think it was just a distraction thing. Um, she does want to read a toddler book to Cecilia. So I'm going to have Thomas go ahead, or not Thomas, I'm going to have... James invite Thomas in. He's like, what's up? Come on in. Don't mind the umbrella here. Discuss the nobles. It's our usual hangout session here. Debate the best scribe in town. Discuss new, what's new around the kingdom. Okay, so she finally gave Cecilia her bath and now she's tired. It is seven in the evening, so she's going off to bed, I guess. A little letter. She didn't really need a bath, but I guess she's giving Edith a bath. And this guy's going to go run naked. Oh, what are you doing, Thomas? He's going and showering in the rain. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen that for a while. It has been a minute. Oh my gosh, we got clothes everywhere, so that means everything must be full yeah she, tomorrow she'll have to um do the laundry okay so he has finished this so we'll go ahead and sell that and we're gonna have isabel just come over here and have a chat with her brother they can just see what's going on and ask about his day she's like hey thomas how's it going what's new have you met a girl yet oh no now he's gonna be oh he's yelling at her because she keeps on him about dating and don't you want to find, don't you want to settle down? She's like, I'm going to, I'm sorry, Thomas. I'm just looking out for your, your well-being. She's like, listen, do you not want to start a family? Do you, you are not getting any younger, Thomas. You're getting on in years. You need to get settled down and get uh, married and have a family. And James is coming down here to chat with them as well. And he's like, yeah, look, Thomas, don't get mad. Don't get mad at your sister. She means well, just, you know, we just want to look out for your well-being and you know you should think about settling down with somebody oh and he's blowing kisses at isabel <gasps> they're flirting look at <gasps> oh no they're flirting oh and then he just did a scare oh no he's like i'm going goodbye all you guys seem to talk about is having a family it is 9 30 we're gonna go ahead since their day starts so dang early they're gonna go ahead and go to sleep they already woohooed for today so they can't do that hopefully tomorrow it won't be raining and she can do the laundry i think she might have to get some flowers however i don't think she has any yeah she doesn't have any and he doesn't have any so she's gonna have to go pick some flowers in the morning i think and this one is awake or what is she she's asleep but she's feeling playful what we're we're playful in our sleep apparently okay and isabel has awoken up so um she is hungry what are you she's going to go tend to that garden already um actually why don't you do a little woohoo with your husband since the kids are asleep and then you can come down here and get something to eat he does want to try for a baby with her and there we go got that now he wants to desperately pee our food just totally disappeared what the whole thing the whole thing just disappeared um okay oh, we had food here and it just went goodbye i'm leaving all right well i guess we'll be making some more and he's gone to paint on his own i'm sorry 
Well, you need to tend to these animals, you know? This is dirty, dirty. Actually, I'm going to have him come out to your... Oh, he does need to spray this for bugs. You need to weed all. I'm going to have him harvest all these crops because it is almost the last day. Yeah, it's day 13. Oh, she's going to have to make some cheese. So I'm going to have her. Now we have this cheese. Oh, we need milk. Okay, she's going to have to go milk the cow. I'll have her come over here and clean out the shed. And she's going to have to milk the cow to get some milk. And these girls are very hungry. So for the time being, I'm going to have to just open this up and give them some fruit or something. We can go ahead and give them a couple each of those. So all our eggs have disappeared again for this whole incubating. I, I don't know. I think that might be a bug. Okay, she got that. Oh, and tomorrow is All Souls Day. I'm going to have him go ahead and harvest. Wait, all our stuff disappeared again. Oh my gosh. I'm going to have him go ahead and harvest everything. I, I think there's stuff missing, but he's going to harvest everything. And this one is so cranky. Eat your bananas, yo. Okay, we didn't harvest. Uh, um, Harvest all. It is harvest day. So harvest all of that. Okay, so he's got everything all harvested. Um, this is clean and full. I think he needs to call over this llama here. And uh, I'm going to have him go foraging, I think. But I think he needs to take care of this llama. Yeah, that llama, I had a feeling it was dirty. Do not play in that toilet. Yo, yo, discipline her. Give her a firm. Tell her not to splash in the toilet. He's like, you really can't splash in the toilet. I know things are filthy. And it looks like fun, but you can't do that. Okay, we can now. Um, she can make some more cheese and beet bread. Yes, go make that, please. I'm going to have him take a bath, and then he's going to have to go gather. He's going to go foraging, and then I'm, I'm going to send him out to get some flowers. Oh, and Peter's here. Actually, you know what? I'm going to have him pick flowers with Peter. The two guys are going to go pick flowers and have a nice chat. He's like, let's go. My wife is sending me off. Let's let's get some nice flowers for the ladies. Okay, Isabel, can you clean this? And then you have to do this laundry, yo. Everybody eat. Oh, and we got bread up here. Oh my gosh, there'd be bread all over the place. And now it's your daily lessons on some good manners, how to say please and thank you. And she's level 10 of the parenting skill. Very nice. Teach to say sorry. We're gonna do, we're gonna teach her about objects here. And this one's having a nice old nap. She's tired. I mean, it is evening. And he has come back. And he got some nice flowers for Isabel here, I think. Yes. Oh, he got a lot. He's got a lot. Holy crap. We got 40 apples, yo. We got 40 apples. And he can come get him some food. And he had so pretty. These flowers are so beautiful. Okay. Okay. We're going to have her go ahead and do this laundry right quick. Um, We got Snowdrop. Snapdragon, uh, uh, this one, and orchids. This is just a hot, I don't know how you say these names. Too difficult. I'm going to have her use the Snapdragon. Do this laundry. Oh, and he's sad from being gloomy. He's just feeling sad. Gloomy Sims always seem to have a cloud hanging over them. And this one is hungry now. She just woke up. I'm hungry and tired all at once. Pristine and soaked. All right, she can hang out on the line. Yeah, they're pristine and soaked. Very nice. I caught it at the right time. However, we still do have laundry, okay? We still have some laundry. We did. We only washed one pile of clothing. Oh my goodness, are you serious? And it is time for them to go to sleep. We're gonna have James read this one to sleep. Read Edith to sleep. Oh, he sits over here. <laughs> He's reading her to sleep, but she's laying over here. Oh, and once upon a time in a land far, far away. She always enjoys her daddy to read to her to sleep. Um, he doesn't always do it a whole lot. He doesn't get a, a lot of time to, but he tries. He does the best that he can. He's busy. He's a busy guy. All right, you guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. So not a lot has happened. We've basically gone through. We were here. We've basically gone through um, four 
some days, which is a year. Today is Saturday, it's gonna be All Souls Day. So in the next episode, we'll be doing that. Plus, little Cecilia is gonna be aging up in four days. So we might be having her age up into a child. So we'll, in which case, we'll have to do another death roll for her. So we'll have to see if we get time for that. I'm gonna continue trying. I don't think she is pregnant, but we'll just con continue trying for those babies. I can't imagine she's just gonna have these two girls. She's gotta have more, right? I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, it would be amazing if you did. And also don't forget to click the little bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.